Yo, what's up guys, so welcome back to the YouTube channel and this is episode two of the CEX trading series. And in this video, I wanted to go through what we're actually doing, what we're aiming to get, the list of stuff that I'm wanting to purchase via this challenge and the stuff we've already got through this challenge, uh, but we're sort of chalking that off and starting it off brand new. First, we'll talk about the actual challenge itself and what we're trying to do. And then we'll go into what we've already picked up through this challenge and what we've paid. Let's do this. So this whole series is a way for me to get photography equipment, but get it a lot cheaper than I otherwise would be able to. Now, obviously, trading in at CEX, it's not gonna be done overnight. But I think with the amount that we go charge shopping, I could probably get it done within the next three months. And what is it that I need to get done? Well, I need to get 3,030 something pounds worth of CEX vouchers to purchase everything that I'm looking at getting. 3,036 pound worth of CEX vouchers is what I need to achieve. And that's just the stuff that I've gone through, got down, and I know that I need. I'm sure there's gonna be more stuff that I need, but I'm aiming to create a photography videography studio and there's a lot of stuff that I wanna be putting into that. Yes, you heard me, a studio space, but we'll get into that in the future. So this is my equipment goals. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going to car boots, charge shops, Facebook Marketplace, picking up DVDs, games, and electronics, and trading them in at CEX for a profit. For example, the stack that we got in the first episode is this one right here. We paid £1.50 and there's £28 worth of CEX trading value. We also got given this, which is another £87 on top, and I believe we're at £115 in CEX value, which from this list would only allow me to buy pretty much one thing. <laughs> but the premise is simple. We're gonna be taking this camera out, recording us going different places, and just basically picking up stuff to resell to CEX. Now, I know this challenge and this goal is 100% achievable and I know we'll get it done, but I just don't know quite the time frame for it. I have some plans coming up in three months that I would really like most of this equipment for, so if I can do it by then, <laughs> perfect. I'm also expecting to spend around 250 to 500 pounds to achieve the 3,000 pound goal, but that is a lot better than spending 3,000. Now, all of this is business expenses. I can expense everything I'm buying. So if I did have to pay the full amount, yes, I can use it as an expense, but I really don't wanna. I wanna spend under 500 and make it a fun challenge. So first we're gonna go through what we've already picked up. And then what we think we've spent, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't kept track fully up to now, but I could, you know, hazard a guess. So first of all, we've picked up two of these Wavo microphones. Uh, one we paid, paid full price for, one we paid 9.99. Picked up two because we're gonna end up with two bodies, a backup and a, a full body that we're gonna be using as a workhorse. But having two cameras set up for certain things that we're looking at getting into would be ideal and both would need microphones. I also picked up this Viltrox uh, adapter so I can adapt this onto the Canon M50 which is also one of the pickups. It's currently recording right now, so let me take a quick little video to show you guys. Uh, but this is gonna be the backup camera in the end. But for now, it's the main workhorse, and it's this little bad boy right here. So this is the M50. This is the second microphone. The other one is in that box. We also got this light, but I think it was like a couple of quid. It's nothing crazy. But yeah, M50, great pickup. We've also picked up a couple of lenses. So this is the 70 to 210. Um, I'm probably never gonna use it, but I think it was like a tenner, so I might as well just grab it. Uh, this one I definitely will use. This is a Sigma 14 millimeter f2.8, and it is an absolute beast of a lens. So should have been 99 um, in cash generators. Traded in some bits, got it down to basically 34. So yeah, this lens is an absolute beast. F2.8, 14 millimeter, it's gonna be a workhorse for me. I'm definitely gonna be using this. Now the stuff that I traded in to get that lens uh, basically equated to around 12 pound. So we knocked off a good chunk with 12 quid and then we ended up paying 34. So really that lens cost me 46. There's a bunch of other random stuff. This power brick is one of my favorites. This is the Cynet 25,000 milliamp. It's come on, it's just been so handy in so many places and so many shoots. It's an amazing power brick. And then a bunch of memory cards, loads of 128 gigs uh, and things like that. But 
yeah, we just keep picking them up as we go to CX and we see a bigger, better memory card. And that's pretty much what we've picked up over the past, I would say two months, maybe a month and a half. Now, spend wise, we're looking at 10, 20, 100, uh, the camera's three. We're probably looking at around 500 to 600 pound in uh, what we've spent in vouchers on this stuff. I would hazard a guess to say we've probably spent around 60 to 70 on achieving those vouchers. So we've saved a fortune. Just the camera alone, paid nothing for, and the vouchers covered it all. And that was like 300 quid or something like that. Absolute winner. But none of this stuff is actually gonna be going towards this series. I'm basically starting fresh. I'm still gonna use this equipment and it's there, but this is the stuff that we are looking to achieve. So what are we looking to get? So I'm looking to get the full frame Canon EOS R. It is 900 pounds in CEX, and I would very much like that to be my main body with the M50 being a backup slash YouTube camera. 900 quid is a good amount, but with the vouchers and stuff, with the DVDs, games that we trade in, we're gonna get that for a lot less. I would expect us to be paying around 150, maybe, for that. Then we're looking at the Sigma 50mm f1.4 art lens. It is 340 quid, but again, with the trade-ins, with the sort of amount we've been trading in over the last two months and what we've been getting and paying, I reckon we're probably gonna be paying around 40 to 60 quid for that. And that Sigma lens will be my main sort of portrait lens. 50, it's, it's gonna look beautiful. We're then gonna be looking at the Sigma 10 millimeter. I believe it is the F2.8 EX. It is uh, 245 pound on the CEX website. And that will be for vlogging, basically. Uh, also hotel rooms, hotel uh, dining areas getting full wide shots but mostly it's gonna be the vlogging lens. Canon EF 85mm f1.2, we're gonna be using that mostly for portraits slash food photography. When I say food photography, I mean stuff like this. Uh, we do a lot of stuff like that for hotels and it will be an amazing lens, really low aperture, gonna get a beautiful blurry background, but also a great focal length. I believe there is a macro version of that lens and I think it might be a Sigma or something or a Tamron. That will be a, a option that I'm also going to pick and that's 165. I'm looking at picking up three speed lights. We're looking at the Godox V800 uh, 860 uh, 11-C whatever it is. This one right here. Pick it, looking at picking up three 65 each so we're looking at 195 but that will be a full setup for basically a lighting in a studio. Slash, it's a really great way to take lighting to a uh, hotel, to anything like that, for food, for rooms, without having to take big boxes. I can just diffuse them, bounce them off walls, etc. sync them up. It's gonna be a nice little purchase. I'm then also looking at the Zion WeBuild Pro 2 gimbal, specifically made for cameras, because like I said, we're looking at getting it into uh, videography for hotels, for restaurants, uh, for any business. And that will be an amazing pickup. I think with the 10 mil on a gimbal, on the EOS R, we're gonna get some really great footage. And then I just need to work on my editing skills, basically. I'm then looking at the Feel World F5 4K monitor, HDMI, straight into the camera, monitor on top so I can get a better view than using a little screen. Um, and that is a whopping 100 quid. That may actually be one of the first pickups because I know there's one in Leeds and uh, I can use it on the M50 right now without having to have the Canon and it's still a great purchase and it will definitely come in handy. I'm looking at picking up three 512 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro SD cards. They are 52 pound each, so it's gonna be 156, but fast writing, full 4K shooting, loads of memory. I'm sick of filling up all my different memory cards and having to sort of do this and that with them. Three of those would be incredible. I've also set myself a budget of 100 quid to get a backpack camera bag that I really love and can fit all the different lenses, flashes, etc. So it's gonna be a big one, but I've set myself a 100 pound budget. The light that's currently on top of this M50 that I showed you earlier in the video, I'm looking to get an upgraded version with more control, more colors, etc. But I'm looking at the Manfrotto ML840 
Zero H LED light. Uh, looking at two of those so I can have them, you know, different sections, etc. Um, 30 quid each, 60 pound all in. Now, I mentioned that Tamron lens earlier, the macro one. That's one that I'm thinking about because it's very similar to the 85 millimeter. It's a 90 millimeter but I think macro might really come in handy for some of the food stuff that I do. So uh, currently it's not on the list, but if I added it, obviously the 3036 would then be 165 more. I might grab it. In fact, scrap that, I'm grabbing it. So let me add it to the list. So the total is now a, a whopping 3,201, but to be honest, I think that Tamron 90 millimeter uh, macro, I think it's an F2.8. I think that could be one of my first lens pickups because it currently offers me the most for what I'm currently doing uh, and the other lenses is something that I'm looking at getting into so I don't quite need them yet. Now I'm genuinely wanting to be completely and utterly full-time booked in, full-time photographer, videography by the end of the year. So I've basically got 10 months to do this series, get all this stuff and go jumping into it. Now I currently do photography full-time hotels and some weddings and stuff booked in this year but I'm taking it steady I'm not really going all out there I'm wanting to do a lot of practice stuff so I'm actually hitting up a bunch of businesses and offering my services for free for the next three months yes you heard me I have some paid gigs they are enough to pay the bills uh, and now I'm gonna offer a bunch of my services for free to places that don't use me currently or the kind of stuff that I'm looking at getting into I've got a nice three month buffer to do this series, go charge shopping and also hit up businesses, go in. I can charge shop on the same days that I go to these businesses and offer my services for free. It's free. I get a lot of content, a lot of stuff for the portfolio, lots of posts on social media. They get stuff for free and it, it all fits in nicely. And the stuff that I'm offering for free is stuff that I haven't done yet, I haven't tried yet, and I'm offering it for free because it's great practice. You can only get better at something the more you do it. Now, my main goals with this is to create an entertaining series, take the camera out, we can go charge shopping together. But obviously the main thing is I get the equipment. I think the first thing I'm gonna to aim to pick up is the Tamron lens, because like I said, it offers the most out of this list for me right now. I'd get the most back for the money. And it's only 165, so decent price. By the end of the three months that I'm offering free services, the thing that I'm really wanting to have in the most is actually the EOS R, the most expensive piece on this list. So, <laughs> got a lot of charity shopping to do. The flashes and stuff, I can get one at a time and I can pick them up one a month and it's only, you know, 65 quid in a month. Uh, or I can just grab them all together. It depends how obviously the charge shopping goes. But just for the integrity of this series, I will not be purchasing anything with cash off this list. It's all got to come through a CEX voucher, which we can show us trading in, getting the voucher and using that voucher on the item. I'm keeping the integrity of this series solid. And now, well, <sighs> That's the end of episode two. I wanted to go through it, explain it, and uh, yeah, let's get on to it. The next video on this channel will be episode three. We're gonna head into Pontefract and Castleford and we're gonna see what we can pick up, put it together, and uh, episode four will probably take the first batch. So yeah, the next episode will be us going out, finding the stuff, bringing it home, going through it on video, and then episode four will be me taking it to the actual CX and showing you us cash it in. I think for my first cash in, which is gonna have been five days since the start of the series, I'm looking for around 250 pound in CEX value, uh, which I'm also looking at only spending around 30 quid for that. Like I said earlier, we've already got 115, so I've only got another 135 to go, uh, and we've only spent one pound 50 so far, so <laughs> very good. But anyways, I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy this series. This is the first series where I'm just doing it every day like i'm going to do it every day it will not be a video every day but there will definitely be two videos minimum a week i will also be video recording and vlogging me offering my services free showing you what i do how i do it learning curves editing all that good stuff in a different series of videos basically trying to improve my videography slash photography skills and gain new clients but that's a whole separate video. The chances are if you're watching this, you're just interested in the whole trading into CEX and trading up. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. And uh, yeah, don't forget, like, subscribe. And in the comment section, let me know, is there any way you think I could make this go quicker? Like I said, I'm gonna be hitting up Vinted, Facebook, car boots, charge shops. Is there anything you think 
I could source this kind of stuff faster. Oh, also, let me know in the comment section, are you looking forward to this series? I am. I'm genuinely looking forward to filming this. I think it's going to be just fun. There's no downside to it. I don't have to sell to customers. I don't have to resell online. I just buy it, take it to the EX, and get a voucher. But anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day. Oh, and if you're an OG of the channel, you'll know I love wearing bucket hats. I haven't worn one in ages, and I picked this one up in Malta, and uh, I genuinely miss being there. It was incredible. I am so sad right now <laughs> to be back in England where it's grey, it's raining, it's windy. Heartbreaking. But anyways, as you've seen, we have picked up some great stuff already by doing this, so I know it works, and I'm looking forward to what we can pick up in the future. See you later. Have a great day.